And welcome to the Estadio Ciudad de Valencia with its capacity of 26,000. It dates back to 1969. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. This should be high intensity stuff, Lee. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully, it won't disappoint. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So his defenders normally stand off him and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants and he normally finds the best one. And now the starting 11 for Levante. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. This is the lineup for the visitors today. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, and that's the important area. Sometimes when you play two midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. It's with Facundo Ferreira. And that was a very fine read. It is to be a throw-in. Melero. Morales. Tonio Garcia. Campagna. Swiss set here, Leon. And a chance for them to nudge in front. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really. But it's in the back of the net. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Opening goal of the game, then. Ferreira on the ball. Melendo. Good use of advantage by the referee. Victor Sanchez moving into the advanced position. It was a fine looking attack, but now they've given the ball away. Melero Campagna It's a perfect challenge Victor Sanchez Gliding through the gears Space and time for the cross And cleared away And a throw-in it's going to be. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on, and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped or something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here... Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman.
Jorge Miramon. Melero. Campagna. It's with Sergio Leon. And putting his body on the line. Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. Postigo. It's with Sergio Leon. Leon. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Given away. Ruben Veso, Campagna. It's with Sergio Leon. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. But it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent positioning from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. It's with Sergi Darder. Plenty of running room in the wide position. A chance to whip it in. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, what on earth happened there? Well, great read there to intercept. He could pick out a teammate. It's opening up for them. Given away. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Oh, he's off, but only just. The gamble from the defenders has paid off. The linesman was right. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Calero, Wu Lei. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Campagna, Melero, Jorge Miramon. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, they were possessing the ball well, but now they've lost it. Ferreira on the ball. A bit of running room now on the wing. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. with Sergi Darder and scope for the cross and he takes it on not the easiest of situations for the keeper this corner kick might help them Over it comes. Cups clear. 
Half an hour remaining then. Campagna. And now Sergio Leon. It's with Sergi Dardère. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. But after that, it's been... And he takes on the shot. And... Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. It's with Facundo Ferreira. He's beaten his man. Real chance. Still alive. Clattered away. Well, they're still behind, Derek, aren't they? But how? What incredible goalkeeping that was. And Granero has it. And the cross is very much on. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Leon has just veered into an offside position this time. Substitution time it is. Poor touch, and they no longer have custody of the ball. Possession lost. Jorge Miramon. And now Sergio Leon. Mayoral. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Antonio Garcia, Morales, now Borja Mayoral, it might be on for them, well, body in the way, Darder, ten minutes left for play in this match, not a good pass. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. It's all about translating threats into goals. He's got to score! And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Borja Mayoral. Leon. And can he deliver accurately? Looks promising this. Can they get in behind them? And putting his body on the line. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And the referee's whistle, that is the end of the story.
Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.